Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme Video. This is for Monday evening, the 10th of January. Uh, time to focus now on very cold air coming down the pike now that the winter storm is over. Let's uh, go to some of the sky cam shots around the network today. And How about a little football on that field, huh? That's the uh, football field at Hamilton High School. Snow covered five inches of snow on the ground. Uh, a large swath of uh, five to eight inch totals across uh, North Alabama, north of Interstate 20 with this big storm that will go down in the books as one of the biggest in Alabama's history for that part of the state. How'd you like to be up on Mount Sheehaw? Goodness, they're in the clouds. It's windy. It's cold. They got blowing snow. Don't exactly know how much is on the ground. I think that one of the heavier totals came from uh, Madison near Huntsville with 10 inches. And I would imagine there might be a few spots up on Lookout and Sand Mountain that had more than that. And clearly not that much at Sheehaw. They're too far south. And from Tuscaloosa, the good news, they're in the mid-30s. They're above freezing. We've got 36 at the SkyCam there at the, the uh, Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, and that's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge, which has been open. That's the one bridge they've kept open. The uh, Woolsey Fennell Bridge, which is the uh, US 82 McFarland Boulevard Bridge, has been closed. I think they're about to reopen that. And the uh, Bryant Bridge, the newer bridge, out toward Holt has also been closed. But again, we focus on the future and uh, look at that... Uh, Vortex digging down across the northern uh, Rockies. That thing is just unbelievable, and that's going to bring the easily the coldest air we've seen so far this season uh, here in about uh, 36 hours. Temperatures this afternoon still below freezing. Haleyville, Coleman, Gadsden, that's where that thick blanket of snow is on the ground. Still freezing in Anniston, uh, 32. Uh, but the good news, we've got both uh, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa in the mid-30s. Uh, these are uh, 2 o'clock observations. Birmingham, 34. Tuscaloosa, 35. So conditions have improved, but understand that these numbers will drop slowly uh, below the freezing mark later tonight. It's going to not drop rapidly, but again, uh, at least Birmingham will go below freezing. Tuscaloosa, it'll be close. I think they'll get down to 32, but clearly there's concern that there will be some more icy spots, icy travel tonight. Here's our watch warning map, and that thing is lit up like a Christmas tree. Winter weather advisories all the way from the Texas Panhandle up to Pennsylvania and New York. Still got winter storm warnings up for the Carolinas where they've dealt with the big system we had last night and uh, still some freezing rain advisories for uh, parts of Alabama and all of that will be, uh, in fact, all of that has been uh, canceled. Uh, and uh, although we might see some light freezing drizzle or snow flurries, uh, tonight or tomorrow shouldn't pose any additional significant problems. Um, here's the overall rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is showing not much. And really, this counts what we had this morning from 6 until noon. We think that most of the precipitation tonight and tomorrow will be not enough to measure. And look at that. There's a little, I forgot to show you this, the temperatures around the nation. Uh, these are taken at 2 o'clock, and it's uh, 1 degree in the core of that air, 1 degree Fahrenheit over northeast Montana. That's that's tough cold, and that's going to blow down in here for a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and it's going to be uh, very cold here across the Deep South. All right, let's look at the uh, GFS. This is the uh, 12Z run valid at noon tomorrow. Strong vorticity you can see there uh, north of Memphis, and uh, that might squeeze out a few snow flurries, especially north of here tomorrow. Uh, there's a look at the uh, surface chart, and you can see the better chance of flurries really from, uh, say, U.S. 278 north, uh, much of Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, maybe some heavier snow for parts of uh, Indiana and Cincinnati. Cincinnati's under a, a, a winter storm warning for the possibility of four inches of snow with that feature. But it's not a Gulf storm like we had uh, uh, last night. This is a northern branch system, and they typically don't have a lot of moisture to work with. But again, some of you might see a few snowflakes or a little bit of drizzle tomorrow morning. But Wednesday, here we go. That's a 1,044 millibar high sitting over Kansas and Nebraska. And you talk about some cold air advection. Uh, ouch. Uh, the latest GFS is showing a high of 33 on Wednesday. Uh, the NAM shows 34. We'll go to Thursday. The cold air is deeper. 540 line getting down to Mobile. Keep in mind where the air came from. This is some of that cross-polar stuff. The GFS is showing a high of 31 on Thursday. We'll be below freezing all day. And Thursday morning, it's got the low at 15. 
And there's Friday. The guidance Friday morning has got us down to 13 degrees. And I'm telling you where there's snow on the ground uh, to the north, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, uh, Friday morning where the snow cover is pretty thick uh, to the north over North Alabama, we figure there'll easily be some single-digit lows in there. And then finally, Friday afternoon, we start to warm up with a high in the low 40s. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, how about mid-40s? Doesn't that sound good? Mid to upper 40s. Uh, and it's still dry. And there's Sunday. We've got rain coming in from the northwest. Sunday will likely be in the low 50s. And at next impulse could bring some rain maybe Sunday night or Monday. There's Monday. And you see it's kind of a weakening system that rainfall now will not be all that impressive. But again, uh, certainly at this point, it looks like it will be all uh, rain Sunday night and Monday when that gets in here. And probably not that much. We'll check the end of the forecast period on the 26th of January. Look at the trough out west all of a sudden in a warm ridge over Florida. A little bit of a pattern change here. That's suggesting the Gulf of Mexico wide open. And that almost looks like some kind of severe weather trouble brewing, if that's right. A 996 millibar low near Childress, Texas, with a strong southerly flow all the way to the Great Lakes. And uh, no cold air around here with that. That's a very mild, unsettled look. We'll check some of the teleconnections. First off, the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation down there at the bottom. Notice how it trends neutral to positive in about 10 to 15 days, and that would certainly support that. When the NAO goes positive, that supports the trough out west and ridging in the east, so that would shunt the really cold air out to the west. And we do note the Arctic Oscillation goes strongly negative, but you know, really without the correlation of the NAO, it's hard to get that down in here. So we just wonder, maybe this is the worst winter has to offer this week. But who, who knows? It's very early in the season. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.